Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at an actual use case on how the ignore blanks checkbox in the data validation drop down list actually works. So let's see how that is in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have two tables. This table here, if we look at it, it's called Table 1. It has a heading of course, and it's a list of various courses that a student could take. And here we have Table 2 that has two columns, Y and M, for yes, no, maybe, and no choice, which is just a series of blanks. In cell C2 through C6, I have a data validation drop-down list, which uses the table one here and if we look at data validation you can see it's set up as list and the source is indirect table one course if you want to reference a table you would use the indirect function the table name and the column header in double quotes to use that table as your source for your data validation and because of that I can click on the drop down list and choose any of the courses that we have in that list. In column D, my data validation is a list and it uses this formula here. And to make it easier to see, I have the formula written here which basically says if the length of C2 is greater than zero, then use the indirect function to pull in table to YNM, yes, no, maybe. If not, if C2 is not greater than zero, then use the indirect function table to no choice, which is just a series of blanks. So as you can see here, if I choose a course in cell C2, then I have the option for yes, no, maybe. If I don't choose anything in column C, then I just have blanks because cell C3 is not greater than zero. So it pulls in table two, no choice. However, even though cell C3 is blank, I can manually type yes or no or anything else. And the reason is because in column D in my data validation, notice the ignore blank is checked, meaning it's true, telling data validation, yes, ignore blanks when you're looking at data validation here. To correct that, what I would do is select the cells that I want data validation in and uncheck ignore blank. Now, again, if I select a course, in this case history, I get yes, no, or maybe. In cell C4, if I don't choose anything, again, I have blanks in column D, but if I go to type anything, I get that error message. Whether I try to type something in the list or any other characters, I get that error message telling me that's not a valid entry for that cell. So that is one very good use case for not having the ignore blank box checked, which normally is checked by default in Excel. But in this way, by not checking it, it allows me to have my data validation drop down list function properly. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.